Uh, hi everyone. Disgusting, Disgusting mustache, mustache here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for our monthly roundup where I go over the albums that I loved the most over this past month. And, um, yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Links to music from these albums and reviews, my reviews of these albums, are down there in the description. And, uh, yeah, let's just get into it. We only have a couple here because it's slowing down, it's the end of the year. Some of these albums are actually from earlier in the year and I was kind of playing catch up a little bit. But the newest and latest of the albums I want to recommend to you guys in this list, the new A Tribe Called Quest album. We got it from here. Thank you for your service. Jazz rap legends, A Tribe Called Quest, are back on this fantastic comeback album. God! What is it good? In my review, I even said it is the hip hop album of the year. Um, I still, I still kind of stick by that. You know, I, I, we, we will see if that statement pans out completely once I finally put up my year end list. Uh, but this thing is incredible, hands down, no question. One of the best records of this year. Um, and I don't know, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it just kind of sounds like Q-Tip and Company don't don't miss don't don't miss a beat on this thing. You know, it's like the past 20 years have not been spent pretty much silent. The Fife Dog verses on here are great. You know, the multiple appearances from Consequence and Buster Rhymes are good. Uh, they definitely add a lot to the record, and the uh, feature list on this thing is really impressive as well. So you know, kudos to a tribe called Quest. You know, sucks it had to be their last record, uh, but you know, it's a, a good album. Bleh. Next, the new Caro Caro Benito album, which is titled Benito Generation. Uh, in my opinion, one of the most fun and playful pop albums of the year. A lot of interesting cross-sections of musical styles on this thing. Everything from house music to hip-hop, like a little bit of M.I.A. influence on this thing. Also J-pop and beach rock and... Uh, I don't know, I don't know what else, like top 40 stuff. There's just a lot going on with this record, but it's all kind of pulled together really well and really cohesively with this very cute, charming demeanor that the band approaches their songs with. And I would also say it, it's definitely required that you have a sense of humor before you go into this album as well. It's not a record that takes itself too seriously, so you don't need to take it too seriously either, but um, as, as seriously as I, I don't take it, uh, it's still a very well-produced, well-crafted, colorful, smile-inducing album that uh, I love a lot and I have been returning to again and again and again since I've picked it up. And I want to give a shout out to the new Swain album, The Long Dark Blue. This is the Netherlands rock band's first album since changing their name from This Routine is Hell a couple of years ago. And um, I'm really happy with uh, what they brought here. I was kind of off put at first by the fact they just pursued so brashly this 90s grunge revivalist sound, uh, but they end up kind of mixing that with the heavy metallic hardcore that made their last album so great, and when they make grunge music, unlike a lot of other artists who are like, you know, really trying to ride that nostalgia train, they actually execute it with some good songwriting and like some legitimately dark and depressing feelings. So they're doing this grunge thing justice, they're writing good songs, the album is well produced, and those more aggressive, visceral, and savage elements of their sound are still in the mix, it's just they're kind of just switched out with these grunge moments, and it actually makes for a pretty interesting conclusion. You know, you have these dreary spots, and then all of a sudden they go aggressive, like, I'm so sad, uh, but now I'm angry about how shit things are. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's my assessment of the record. It's great. It's one of my favorite rock records of the year. Give it a shot. And uh, yeah, those are the recommendations that I want to make f uh, to you guys for this month. Again, links down there in the description, and I hope all of you are well. Tr -tr -tr tran zition and those are the albums that I want to recommend to you guys this month. Uh, before the video is out, keep in mind, I, I did record this before having done this review. I do want to give a little nod here to the new Childish Gambino album as well. I know if I don't do that, there's going to be a little bit of a um, butt hurt in the comments. So, uh, you know, definitely want to give that album a shout out. And uh, give the new Sleigh Bells album a nod as well. Why the hell not? Because I thought that was... a uh, Definitely not amazing, but I liked it more than I thought I was going to. So, there you go, guys. Again, all sorts of uh, relevant links and all that down in the description. Hope you're doing well. Links next to my head as well. Other reviews that you should check out. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and official website. I'm going to get out of here forever.